Hey, you touched her heart, Germany, with that gown. I You really touched her heart with that. And you know, it's just the small things that, that is not even a small thing. That's a big thing. And it, it went a long way. Now, look, imagine, ulifanya too, lakini sa easy ona. And maybe in Koshota Baraka, ulipata through that more and more. That's true. And I will tell you how. To endele na conversation. Nda kwambia vile wali kuja kunilipa bandai. Ah. Like how that that small kanini yeah. came back in multiple. Ebu tell us how that <laughs> happened. What's up guys and a very warm welcome to SPM Buzz. My good name is Miss Kithinji and today I have a star. Now guys before I introduce my star for today. I would like to tell you guys to subscribe. Eh? Kindly subscribe because, you know, we are on the road to 100K and if you hit that subscribe button, you're getting us close to 100K. Subscribed? All right. Thank you for subscribing. Now, my star for today is someone you guys have asked for a lot. Hey, on that comment section, it's just her name over and over again. And I'm glad that we finally get to do this. Now, this lady is an amazing mom, she's a wife, she's a super producer, and other than that, everyone we have spoken to about her says she's an amazing human being, and who are we to disagree? This is the one and only Judy Nyawera, aka Bimkuru. <laughs> Finally, guys, that's how I'm I'm good. What are you here? You guys, what it has taken me to bring Judy here today, it is the hand of God. Really? And all really? glory to Him. <laughs> But thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Karibu sana. In that intro, we okay. Iko sawa? Iko sawa. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> guys, let me tell you fun fact. Me and Judy share a birthday. Yes. If you guys, know, if anyone knows me, they know how how hard I go on people. We share even a birthday month. Mm. If I realize we share a birthday month, yeah. November, oh, I'm like, then I realize that we share a birth date. Yes. Day. Same date. Ah, I was I was so happy. Yeah. But nice to, to see you today. Thank you for I, having me. I'm I, so finally. Finally. Finally, we're here. To <laughs> get the guest story. <laughs> story too. Eh, yes. You know, Judy, you're a great mom. Thank Mimi, you. I watch your videos with Mumbus, and I'm just there wondering did you go to school to learn how to be a good mom? Did you, is there a class that you went to? Did you learn into it? Ebu, tell us about that. Let me tell you a story, Betty. Ebu, ni Are you ready for a story? I am ready. Did you want to come a mkurugenzi? I got pregnant. Yeah. When I was in my third year of college. So Pretty young. young. Yes. Yes. I was 22 years old. Kai, 22 when is I got young. pregnant. Eh. Yes. So, ukimuliza kama kuna shule ama kitabu ama sijui nini. At 22 years old, what do you know? Nothing. What do you know? Nothing. You know, actually, you know almost nothing about life. Kusema tu kweli. Umejua tu shule. So you're just about to finish school, doing it. Into Maisha. the world. Once yeah. in Maisha. Mm -hmm. So at 22 years old. Yeah. Let me tell you, Betty. At that particular point, yeah. let's put me a pregnancy test. Yeah. Nikatoka hivi. Yes, positive. Nika, Two lines. Nikona. <laughs> Nikaenda nikalia siku mzima. Kali nililianga siku mzima. <laughs> Are you serious? I the whole day. Yeah. I was with Abel. Yeah. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to show you. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. I, that day, I cried the whole day. And I can imagine. 12 years later, we're here. She's now 12 years. Yeah. 12 and a half, actually. Yeah. Because she turned 12 in January. Mm -hmm. 12 and a half. So, no, no manual, no school, no nothing. Nothing. Nine. Yeah. Na mungu. Actually, ni mungu, yes. then life. <laughs> Nini medifundisha. Eh, yeah. juinyo sasa tuasema ni nini? Hakuna kitu ingine, there's no manual for parenting. Hakuna, hakuna, hata the greatest parents of all of them. Hakuna, yeah. Hakuna nga manual ikifika ni parenting. Hakuna. And motherhood. There's no manual. You learn as you go. Yeah. Ni mungu, mina semanga ni mungu by the way. Because I can only do so much. 
mimi na samanga mimi nafanya ngai yangu eh lucky yet a responsible mother this is this is what i need to do yeah. then i let the rest go but <laughs> hey Let's talk about being in the limelight because now you know Judy a few years back at atunge atakuwa tunakujua hata ungekuwa hapa tukikuongelesha watu walikuwa wanashanga watu walikuwa wanajua huyu abel mtu anakwanga na bibi but huyu bibi hatujemuona cuz you see you know you've been a producer behind the scenes for yes, a long time, a long time. now I'd like to know this limelight thing is it something you decided you know what eh many follow sana now Let me now decide to get into this at a mimi ni pate endorsements let's just do be ashara because i'm now here or is it by virtue of just being bim kuru that now ilibidi tu i can say hey. it's by affiliation okay and by affiliation mm-hmm. i mean three years ago so i started uh, when i started working with nchukushan sele mm-hmm. Uh, that was in 2018 october yeah, okay. that is when i started working with them uh-huh. and uh, it was by sheer coincidence mm-hmm. Aki. <laughs> so um yeah. before that i was working for another tv production company and yes. i had been there for almost nine years yes. producing other shows yes uh and then uh beginning of 2018 yeah. Nikanza ku feel like unajua vile after being in one place for so long and doing the same thing for so long it mm-hmm. gets to a point where you feel like I, I think it's time for me to move on yes. to something else. Uh-huh. But Judy vile yuko na character yake vile nakuanga mm-hmm. I'm moving on to what na sijajipanga lazima nijipange before the jewel. Yes. <laughs> what is this thing that I'm moving on to? Mm-hmm. So January came February March mm-hmm. nimesema actually ni kwa nimesema Come, when we were coming into 2018 kwa mwezi wa nne tu kwa ofisi akini resign alafu nita hizo ni kwa nimejipatia by the first quarter Ehe. so by end of march to kinga april i have figured out what it is that i want to do then i i resign i go do this other thing that i yes. want to do ehe 2018 kid mm-hmm. first quarter kisha i judi bado had kid kama ko na kitu haswa na jua this is what i want to go and do next yeah Anyway I dragged it on I dragged it on until sometime in May June I've been like maybe come in kazi me in a field come on me fika mushu and you give me everything mm-hmm. you never give to this company after almost 9 years 9 years it's okay even if you don't have uh, something figured out whatever it is that you want to do yeah. next figured out mm-hmm. it's fine we kuja tu we design tu kuja tutajipanga anyway that is what I did But I resigned in September, end of September yeah. 2018. Mm-hmm. So that September tukiongea tu na team na sele. Mhm. Wananiambia hii mahali imefika kwa sasa tukikasha kuja is a few months old. Mhm. Tunaongea tu wananiambia hii mahali imefika job mm-hmm. ni mob yeah. na tuna feel ni kama hey tuna need to say this. Uh-huh. Unaweza tusaidia kufikiria mtu mwenye anaweza manage team. Manage. Eh uh-huh. na hiyo time hata ilikuwa ku manage team. Kwa oh just say let and walikuwa na manage brand. team sasa hiyo. Yes. Uh-huh. No no na hata si sele hata si ku manage tu ni ile tu ni bibi na nini hata nishikilie. Okay. Ngia yeah, basi sasa sele mtu yeye amekaa nini nini there's uh-huh. a lot the responsibilities zimeanza kukuwa mingi. Yeah. Then team of the brand is now becoming a bit bigger like bigger than the two of them. Uh-huh. So they felt we need at least a manager. Okay. Mimi tuko hiyo conversation kambi ah sawa hebu acha nitafikiria acha nende home nifikirie eh. nikaenda home baby nikaenda home kambi baby uh, team na sile wanasema wanaweza taka wana feel need wana need uh, like a manager mm-hmm. kuna mtu unafikiria anaweza fanya hiyo kazi eh. so that is like two weeks before my date of Uh, like my final date in that company. Oh, aha. So you had not even resigned no. just as yet. Nilikuwa nimebaki shabi wiki mbili ndio umalize. Sasa eh eh twende. Sasa niende nyumbani nikalale nikifikiria nini nataka kufanya. Eh. So, but let's go here. Now actually tukaanza ku we had with there were some names we mentioned in that conversation we had happened. Eh eh. But tukienda kumaliza hiyo conversation anaweza but babe so unaweza fanya hiyo kazi eh. and since you have nothing to do as in you're just about to resign yes si unaweza wasaidia actually the conversation was tunaweza washikilia mm-hmm. until we find someone we find someone and ah. confirm this person ako sawa kwa sababu tutaki tunaweza taka kuwapatia mtu mwenye tuna feel anaweza wasaidia yes so si mimi ah nikamwambia so by then nikamwambia by that many name we have a few names here and there wacha tutawavet but in the meantime mm-hmm. nikishamaliza in two weeks two weeks wacha nikam washikilia kazi hapo kidogo yeah, kidogo wa, naweza shikilia naweza wasaidia uh-huh. tukingoja at least tukingoja kupata huyo msi yes 
yeah, three years. Ah, uh, two the two weeks came. Uh-huh. I resigned. It was on a Friday, and on Monday, ni kind of meeting na wao sasa official. Yeah, client, client. Yeah, ni uh-huh. Update. Oh, uh-huh. Nini nini? nini Aya. Nini nini? Una una jopia x ni wadi social media. By that time, yes. 2018, mm-hmm. I think I had like. I think ni kwa nakar. 7000 subscribers or 6000 subscribers uh, uh-huh. followers Sub- subscribers followers uh-huh. like 6000 followers on Instagram on uh-huh. so me of course life yangu ni chini ya maji chini ya maji watu wananyona ngapa hapa na pale but na tayo 7000 wa uploading chochote na ningemaliza mwezi hapa bidindini i know <laughs> yes eh uh-huh. so chini ya maji chini ya maji the tweaks came eh uh, this week on this monday tumepatana sasa wa nini alafu nawaambia mna need kunifundisha uh-huh. in the social media cuz i know i have a background in production yes so i know a bit of uh, stories of uh, clients na nini na nini cuz when you producer see you pitching you pitching you're doing proposals you're doing fundraising you're doing propo- so i have an idea yeah but it's not yeah social media it's, it's very new to me okay but skills ni zile zile tu oh, I came to later learn yes. skills ni zile zile tu hizo uh-huh. skills nilikuwa nazo ndo nilizinisaidia kufanya hii kazi na wao okay na tuka mimi nikaanza kushikilia kazi kushikilia kazi eh uh-huh. like, tunasaidia unajua this is not official mhm <laughs> two weeks later mimi uh-huh. walikuja wakaniambia huyo mtu alikuwa anatafuta usimtafute tena sisi uh-huh. tunataka kufanya kazi na <laughs> so by then akumbuka niki eh hiyo kitu ilikuwa imenlet nilienda home nikamwambia nili mungu jemi tunisikie wacha nifikirie. kwanza nifikirie mm cuz na feel i don't think i feel like you need someone who has who, who knows who has an idea about social media and how yes. it works and what not eh eh but na walikata na wakakata wakaniambia ndio tunafanya kazi eh anyway three years later yes I see, now come it's now actually this is the fourth year yeah to uh-huh. remember, three years uh, last year mm-hmm. this is the fourth year since 2018 mhm nikikwambia by affiliation yeah. ni juu ya hiyo affiliation ya team na sele hata ah, simu kangu sana yeah. ni affiliation ya team na sele cuz ah. now when i started working with them kidogo kidogo they are doing their stories they are doing oh nini kidogo kidogo au they been seen clients, behind the nini, scenes hey, nini wataongea juu ya manager watasema nini they are doing interviews nini nini ah. and that is how at Four years later sasa hii tuko almost 240,000. By the way, Jum Kuru story yake amerudi amerudi kwa Mkuru social media ya Covid. He was not active yeah. until Mkuru Genzi started it. Yes. He was not active. Yeah, ngemaliza mwezi kama Jay post. For sure. Ni ukweli hata yeye amerudi tu juzi. Si juu ya Bim Kuru. Ah. Imekuwa ni juu ya Selenge Bush for sure. Then now Mkuru Genzi happened. Yes. Then Bim Kuru now. Yeah. Eh, but by the time Bim Kuru na come already numbers zilikuwa zime come juu ya team. Yes. Selen. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> now let's talk about artist management because now you've become a guru into it oh. and you know you have you you're managing big brands <laughs> we can you. see the impact you you've, you you know you're putting the effort into them. So I mean you have strategies but let's talk about now yeah. artist management because I feel like it's still a thing creatives have not embraced especially in Kenya I don't know if that's what you feel and just let let take us through is it really important for artists to have managers and what are some of the challenges you know you've been facing as an artist manager or a brand manager uh-huh. So of course um So artist management is mm-hmm. um I feel it's still something that's very new yes. in in our country. Mm-hmm. Like artists it, management is not So artists have a group of people they work with. Yes. But management management see mm-hmm. kitu imekuwa. I feel ni it's something that's starting to pick up now. Yeah. So um when I started working with team mm mm-hmm. Uh well what are these good and kanje kwa na challenges mhm challenges na to challenges eh <laughs> the challenges were because artist management is not something people are familiar with For even sure. the corporate yes na mimi na juanga nikitaka kuongea na njugushi na ongea na mpigana eh direct so mbona unapigia so, tena manager who are you? inakuwa tena ni kama ni madharau like, si wewe unapatia kazi kazi inapatia njugushi so kwa nini nakuongelesha eh so there was that yes Uh, people feeling like uh, but I it's njukush I want uh, I'm giving this work to njukush yeah. so why am I talking to yeah miss kujui mimi na njukush so there was that at the very beginning yes but 
one thing I can say for sure, for sure, mm-hmm. for corporates, like proper uh, corporates, like yes. uh, proper clients when you need corporates, like mm-hmm. big brands and whatnot. After interacting with me, let me speak for myself. What yes. Let me speak for myself. After interacting, like we do the first campaign, by the end of that campaign, by the one I call you, we have to take a to take a look at it. Yes. To take a look at it. Because then, they slowly they started understanding why the importance of a, of a manager. And yes. I will tell you uh, why a manager is very necessary. Uh huh. When it comes to an artist, yes, Mr. Manga, an artist, what you understand uh, best, like what you know best, is what you do. Okay, being the creative. Yes, Sindio, yes. You're a musician. What you do best mm-hmm. is creating music. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're a content creator. What you know best is to is create content, content. creation. Yes, Sindio, mm-hmm. but you do not really understand the business aspect of, exactly of mm-hmm. content creation of this yes. bis, of, of this thing that you do because mm-hmm. wengi and I, if i'm not wrong i think wengi kati even very team, big artists yeah, wengi yeah, wana hata managers team hakuanza nitapia an example ya njugush sana yeah. ndio nimefanya kazi yeah. na yeye team hakuanza uh, skits zake na nini akifikiria siku moja the time patinge mtengenezea pesa nyingi zina mtengenezea anga size mm-hmm. team ilikuwa it was out of passion it's something he loved he's an actor yeah so creating content hiyo skits funny skits na nini nini ni kitu tu alikuwa anafanya kujibamba yeah. so when this thing yenye alikuwa anafanya as passion uh-huh. started becoming a business yes hapo ikaanza kukua he ni, ni okay. tricky ni hey, kama sielewi ku create content yeah. basi sijui hii contract imekuja ni kama hata exactly. sielewi exactly so na semanga the importance if hata bila kuongeza vitu at your whole list yeah. for me it is that you understand you as a content creator you as an art, as, in, as a musician whatever uh, kind of artist you are what you understand best is that thing that you do yes but the business aspect yeah of your art mm-hmm. is what a manager is there to handle yeah because sasa this art of yours needs to make you money yes it needs to make you money it does because it, it is what you do for a living yes. so it needs to make you money yeah. and that is where now us is um, managers, managers come, come in yes. imagine this is a very important piece you've said mm-hmm. uh, judy because i feel like i've interacted with uh, you know even very big artists in kenya mm-hmm. who are making money and they don't have managers mm-hmm. And to be honest I always feel like if you had a manager who is looking at your business aspect mm. you'd even be making more money Man, like the brand would be on another, exactly, another level Exactly on another level yes. So it's very important and you know this is for you guys who are probably upcoming artists or even you know artists who are already there and you don't have management mm. Imagine your pesa kidogo unakataa kulipa manager anaweza kutengenezea double that wa moto pale kido percentage <laughs> kido go to actually the other challenge let me go back to that yes. and then the new feel but it's this person i want to talk to uh-huh. i don't know you the other thing was the uh, the person giving us work always assumes manager anakuja ku kukula pesa yeah. i know so njugusha na charge 10 bob for a video Oh, Manager ongeza 20. Atasema ni 50. Hata si 20, atasema ni 50. Yeah. Of I I, I can't blame them cuz there are some power. who do that. They are rogue managers. They are, yes. yes. But a proper manager, like someone who has your best interest at heart. Yes. Please. They are just there to make your brand go for to sure. Level, get to the level that yeah. it's meant to mm. get to. Look at Njugush. Yeah, he's doing very great. I mean, I totally agree with you because I've been a manager, mm-hmm. a very big artist. Mm-hmm. Let's start with Nani, but <laughs> someone you guys know and appreciate her work. Yeah. And let me tell you, when first they would call me, I would give them this is the rate card. Transparency, we all know this is yes, what we charge. Exactly. Yes. Then they would make sure they find her contact, call her Directly. to find out yes. if that is the amount that I gave them. Yes. Then the money the, the brand would tell them Talk to my manager. Yes. This is her number. Yes. Then they come yes. back to so, me. So that is so that relationship yes. between the artist and the manager has to be very like has to be it's based on trust. Yes. And trust on another level. Like trust hey, it's like trust is someone with your life. Trust exactly at mm. heart. Na siko hapa kukua kufanya fanya biashara zingine chini ya maji. Yes. So that eh hey, yo. And you nasema nga for me I know it's yeah. probably not the best thing to say. But na semanga for me to manage you. Yeah. 
the connection has to be it has to be there na si connection to you like lazima kuwe na connection yenye si ya kawaida yeah kwa sababu as in unless we get to that level of trust then biashara haitawaka haiwezi by the way yeah. you need to be more or less like friends exactly na hata si friends bila sababu ni kama familia sometimes you spend the night you're even talking about concepts that you want to work on in the last three years we had a conversation on a team na selena abel in the last three years nyo tumekutikifanya kazi nao wana mimi ndio like wakataka wakitaka abel akitaka kujua kitu juu ya bibi yake atauliza team na selena as in you spend more time really good time with them most of my time was I would spend it with them because yes. au ndio tunafanya kazi nao yeah. like from us we mpaka jioni because we have projects yes. we have meetings we have projects we have shoots we have yeah sorts of things yeah. yes so hey management lazima trust between the artist and the manager yes has to be lazima make we very solid Guys, you better learn something from this. I hope you have learned something from this. Now, Judy, let's talk about the Wakimanis because when I did that interview with Sele, yani, oh Judy, oh Judy, please to let her Judy comment section. Muna jijua ni hapa nimefika. Ndio hapa. Now, let me ask you. I would like to know the first time you met Jugush. Ilikuaje? What was that situation? What did you think of him? We all know how Njugush used to look like. Yes. He was this funny man. You know, we all know. So, I first met Njugush. Uh-huh. Uh actually when he was uh uh working on house help. real house no, helps. Hapakule. Gani ndio nikuja kwanza? Hapakule ama ni Hapakule. Hapakule then real house helps. Okay. It was Hapakule first. Yeah, eh. House helps was born out of Hapakule. Aha. So me nilim nilimjua the first time I met him was actually in my house. Okay. They were shooting for Hapakule. Oh, eh. So that time I was still working for um the, the company the you company. were working for, yes. yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. And during that time because i used to travel a lot like i used to oh, travel yeah, yeah. The, the, uh-huh. the, i was uh, producing a show called shamba ship up yes. there's on citizen yeah so shamba ship up uh, we used to shoot across east africa yes. so uganda tz na kenya uh-huh. so i used to travel a lot like i was on the road 24/7 yeah nilikuwa tu home like in a month i would be home like a week or are less you than serious? a week in a whole month Cause I'm on the road, like we are either shooting in Kenya, we're shooting in Tanzania, we're shooting in Uganda. Eh, eh, eh. So at a team, of course, to record to me on the Abel and Guam, me and Bia, Julia, team, Nini, Nini, Njugu, show, KMC, oh, drama, oh, Nika Boy, Kaneza, act, oh, Nini, Nini. Then, of course, the inception of Hapakule. I knew about the cast kido kidogo but yes. you see you see go around. It's not people I was. It's like, not a one-on-one exactly, experience. Yes. So I remember the first time I met Timo we were they were shooting in my house because okay. our house was actually one of the sets. Uh-huh. So mimi nimetoka job jioni nimeingia napata wa kishoot of course mimi nikipata wa kishoot nitaenda nitajipa mambo zako eh hapo bedroom nifanye vitu nini nini eh then hapo ndio tunge interact na Timo unajua like kakaboga kaka wanisalimie au tunasalimia na nini nini ndiko na feel kama ni mama yake actually even ndio na feeling mpaka wa leo eh so ni wana feel kama ni you know vile unaweza kuwa na uh, mathali yes, sort of you know vibes me and team imekuwa ngatu hivyo like uh-huh. na feel tu huyu ni kama mtoto wangu uh-huh. mkubwa lakini yeah yeah so uh, that was my first interaction with team uh-huh. but of course after apo ndio sasa nikajua kuna sele Okay. So kidogo kidogo hivi hivi nasikia stories za Sele nini 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 mm-hmm. tunaongea once in a while kwa simu. Mm-hmm. But then the very first time I met Sele mm-hmm. I had um hosted a, a few girls kwa nyumba yangu for lunch. Okay. And one of those girls was actually Sele. Eh uh-huh. so nani ali invite Sele? Mimi. Uka and that was actually the first time yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nini just sasa juu ya team na eh. tu interact interact na team. Eh. Then sasa nimejua kuna girlfriend na yes. girlfriend na naitwa Sele. Eh. So sasa hapo ndio na Sele came so alikuwa anamuita Dendai. Eh, le Dendai. Ah, Sele alikuwa anamuita Yvo. Eh. Abel alikuwa anamuita Dendai. So hiyo ndio hiyo ndio nilikuwa najua Sele. Okay. 
So the, I had lunch. I, I I decided to have like a few girls over for lunch. Uh-huh. Now our girls by then you ni vile tu zeni familia yetu kubwa wa extension. Okay. So there was Kate, there was uh Isare, uh, there was Matubia, uh-huh. kulikuwa na Fei, uh-huh. kuna kina Kate. Yes. Like kilikuwa tu ni the, the usual. The same two. people eh. Yes. Uh-huh. So sele nika akakuja. Nika mu invite. Okay. Nika mwambia. Come. I come for lunch. Mm-hmm. So Sele was also meeting these other ladies for, for the, the first, first time. time. Hapo. Mm-hmm. So Sele was very timid because ana feel ni kama ni watu wako kwa social. Hey, like, they are celebrities. Like, you know exactly. they, their faces are on TV. Exactly. So they are known nini nini. Okay. But no na sasa mimi cuz nimekuwa nao for so long like kid ni mtu tumetoka naye kitambo. Yes. From it's not a big deal to you. Nini za hidi na nini na nini these are the same people that have interacted with yes. me for me for a long time. So kwangu sima zale mi kwangu tu ni mwastana tu yenye na nimejua for a long time. Mm-hmm. But for Sele it was <gasps> I remember that first nini eh alikuwa eh I can Get imagine. Alishanga. Eh ah watu alafu alikuwa anashanga. Kwani umeni invite wewe? Eh kwani umeni sasa si timo sasa asha ni ni kama family mtoto, tu sasa wetu sasa eh. tuna semanga mini baba na mama wa timo so yes. mtu wetu so of course tuna embrace the, the girlfriend, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. so the first interaction with timo was on a set of apa kule they were shooting in my house yes. and then with selena later selena when we i had lunch yeah I hosted them for lunch at my house. Uh, that was the very first time to interact. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I should have spoken about you know that interaction on that day. I wish I, I knew <laughs> about this thing <laughs> muliza. <laughs> eh, hey, I should have spoken about that interaction on that I day. Don't think she has ever spoken about it. Yeah. Anywhere like in the media. Oh, she hasn't told you about it as well. No, no, no. I what I know is yeah. it was like she was very afraid. Alikuwa anambia usiku wote aliamka na juuliza nita. Naweza sema naweza fanya nini ni cancel kwenda hivi ni juu. I was the only person yeah. she was familiar with in that. Na pia sasa timu ilikuwa me interact exactly. sana. Me interact kwa simu like hey. I am meeting her for the first time hapo kwa hiyo lunch. Yeah. Na muelewa. <laughs> I understand what she was going yeah. through for sure. Yeah. Now let's talk about the gown. Mm-hmm. You know Celia <laughs> alituambia mimi nilienda na Judy kutafuta gown, akaniambia tuinge place expensive. <laughs> nika nika tu, <laughs> nituangalie <laughs> gown. <laughs> eh? Let me ask you. Mm-hmm. What decision did it lead to you guys decided because I believe maybe it was you and Abel that decided now we want to support these people. Mm-hmm. What decision led you guys to actually want to buy them the gown and Did you actually guys know mulijua kimfuko hawa wako sawa acha tutuwasaidie So of eh. course uh, by the time we get into the wedding yes a, a few years later yes so we have bonded to as in the bond now it has grown yes and now this this is family aha uh-huh. so of course wamekuja wakatuambia their intention of getting married mm-hmm. we have done all those things rushes and what not yes. like tumezifanya eh. but even hata tembe rush tulikuwa tunajua So <laughs> by the time walikuwa na kama kufanya ROC yes eh kulikuwa hiyo time kulikuwa nini yao sichui by the time walikuwa shatoka hapo as in hapa kule na real house hopes anyway they were, I think walikuwa ameshatoka yes. they had left walikuwa njugusha alikuwa ametoka exactly because eh, it was in 2015 yes eh, so yes wametoka yes but sasa timu alitoka akafuata babake Baba, eh, but bila kujua babake pia hana mpa mpango <laughs> eh Ehe. Uh-huh. Mtoto kaji kuna mahali ameitwa kazi kuendelea. Hapana. So walifuatana wote wakatoka wakaacha kazi but bila other plan. Yeah. And you see back then social media was not what it, it is. Wasn't now. really paid. Exactly. Yeah. Ai ni watu kidogo sana wangesema tu. Hata walikuwa wanajua social media unaweza lipo kufanya. For sure. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So Of course wameacha kazi hakuna kazi nyingine wamekuwa kifanya. Of course kimfuko wako vizuri. Yeah. But I will I, Honestly for me mimi nikipeleka sele because we were the best, best couple yes. so responsibility yangu kama best couple as in ni kufanya nini kumsaidia eh, kuhakikisha kupanga kila kitu right ndako sawa nguo amepata kila kitu inamhusu iko sawa yes so si we decide to go and uh, shop for a girl eh mimi nilimpeleka so the, I, i took her to the same shop nilikuwa nimefanya nimebuy yako yes mm-hmm. <laughs> No, Akina Sele was in 2016, yetu ilikuwa 2015. Eh, uh-huh. yeah, yao ni 2016, 2016 eh. Yeah. 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 
So, yeah, I'm going to the same shop. Na lina, mm-hmm. So, to me fit, to me fit, to me fit, to me fit. Ay, to me pata. Eh, hey, kuna moja ana fit. Kila mtu waka sema. Dio yes. iyo. <laughs> like, ata tu need kutafta gaun ingine. That's it. So, kuambiwa bayi. Mm. Eh, so, si tunongia tu nasele like. Eh. eh dinini. But what she doesn't know is. I had purposed. Yes. To buy that gown for her. Okay. Is her gift for the wedding. Yes. So, yeah, I was thinking that I was going to buy it, but I was going to buy it. shop, I was going to buy it. Oh, I was going to buy it. I was going to buy it. Yes. Because by this time, I was going to buy it. As in, like, we are going to buy it. We are going to buy it. You know the situation. We are going to buy it. So, we know yeah. the situation. And I have to buy it. Well, I'm from the very few people in this world na unafaa kusema you blessed yeah. that uh, decide to do a wedding and you have money nani anafanya nga harusi akiwa na pesa bila hakuna that you have all the ma ezi mkuna pesa hivi wewe ni ku unasema tu unataka nini inarusha pesa hakuna hakuna sisi wote si upanga harusi bila kukuwa na hiyo do yeah. aka small portion house, yeah but una ti pesa yote ya kufanya yes. harusi uh-huh. so me from the word go i knew I had I, I knew as in I niko nimeamua that is what I was going to get for her yeah. as a gift for the wedding. Aha. Uh-huh. So haikuwa haikuwa actually hata ben hakuwa anajua. Oh, okay. Si kitu wala ni pale mwambia. Ulitoka tu kaamua now this is my gift. Eh, cuz ilikuwa gift yangu to sell. Eh. Cuz then there was a gift from both of us to them. Yeah. Kwa sasa ilikuwa na gift ya eh ya sisi tu. Hey Jamani, hey you touched her heart <laughs> Jamani with that gown. Anaongelea sana. Ati imeisha imeisha gown. You really touched her heart with that. And you know it's just the small things that that is not even a small thing that's a big thing and it it went a long way now look imagine ulifanya tu lakini saa hizi ona yeah. and maybe ni koshota baraka ulipata through that more and more that's true and i will tell you how to end the conversation ndakwambia vile walikuja kunilipa baadaye ah like how that that small kanini yeah. came back in multiple ebu tell us how that <laughs> happened just tell us yeah so sometimes tunafa i think in life bila unaambia ngo atenda wema Zako. Zako. Mm-hmm. So for me at that particular point because I was able to do that yeah. I could afford to do that uh-huh. ilikuwa ni mimi natenda wema nikienda ukiendanga okay, expecting yeah. nothing really hey. in return just to make them feel good Exactly I love for me they are young they are young people it's a young couple ndio okay. wanaanza kujenga life nani nani so yes. whatever I can do whatever we can do Yeah me and Abel, whatever we could do to do what mesema tutaifanya Yes kwa cha tu tunawapatia mm-hmm. like a good nini ya kuanza kuanza life kama yeah. married couple. Uh-huh. So eh, vile unafanyanga kitu mm-hmm. na years later you don't know. Okay. So mimi yule ilikuja in 2018. Ehe. Uh-huh. That's like two years later. It's two years later. Yes. So vile uh, story nimesema ya vile niliacha hiyo na nikakamkushikilia. Ehe. Uh-huh. But you see nilikamkushikilia si kwa na plan like I had no plan whatsoever. I won't lie to you bit. Okay. I had no plan for whatever it is that I wanted to do next. Yes. Nikwa nimefikiri nitafanya biashara. Oh, nayafungua salon. Oh, sijui nitafanya nini. Hizi ni kwa zote. Eh eh. Biashara nataka kufanya. Yeah. But eh kuanza kufanya kazi na kina Sele mm-hmm. eh nikaanza kufanya job naona nini na nini. Do you know for three years wao ndio wamenilisha. Like hii ndio mwaka ya 4. Yeah. For three years Sele yeah. na team ndio wamenilisha mimi anyway so sometimes you can bore the small thing that you do as in unafanyanga tu kitu wewe fanya tu kienda yeah. hiyo pesa ya gown na inge kulisha ta one month imeisha gown seriously one month ni hivyo i know <laughs> like imagine like the, as in hiyo ilikam kuji multiply like, and and it's still really a continuation like, and it's still a continuation like, yeah. whatever i'm doing now yeah. like everything i'm doing now everything i've been able to do now mm-hmm. the skills i've gathered in the last three years now yeah. this being the fourth year the fact that i'm now a content creator at the brand <laughs> to work with me imagine all, that, all of that it's by virtue all of that yeah it's because of team and sale yeah hiyo kukuwa mana mimi walikuwa mafuta tweets wakasema sisi hatutaki kufanya kazi na mtu mwingine hey. tunataka kufanya kazi na wewe yeah. everything i am right now everything i'm doing right now it's because the growth them. is because of that yeah it's because of team and, and who would have thought who would have thought because you were there ahead of them you had all the exp- experience as compared to them yeah. 
your life was at least you know okay yeah. to a point yeah. you can support them yeah huni yani later in life wao ndio wangekuja sasa kuni support eh wao ndio wangekuwa wananisaidia sasa yeah yeah because working with them all the money i have made being yeah. their manager mm. ni wao wao they were my bosses yeah they want my bosses mm, it's true yeah, so and you know that's why they say don't look down upon anyone oh you never God. know oh. yani ule security guard wako wezi jua skum what yani he yani imagine life is a circle like yeah. this it is a circle and some things go leo unaweza kuwa uko juu kesho uko hapa chini that's true in this life unaambiwa ngo please eh ndio nasema ngo don't ever burn any bridges for sure mahali pokuwa unafanya kazi don't burn any bridges don't burn because you never know you never know you if never it's know. time to leave just leave leave vizuri, leave yeah. vizuri to yeah like you never know yeah <laughs> hey, okay <laughs> Let's try let's let's go back now to talk about you know the early pregnancy as a, as a young girl as and young you know as a young mom now courtship it's like you've gotten into marriage something i mean yes you had a boyfriend but niko sure say atulikuwa unasema tunaoana nikimaliza tu hivi the dear tunaingia kwa marriage how was it for you and is it something you'd actually tell the young girls yes you can go ahead and do this how was it for you Uh so uh, I said I got pregnant when I was 22, 22 yeah I was in my final year mm-hmm. uh in college mm-hmm. KMC tukona fanya film and TV production yeah eh Abel alikuwa shamaliza yeye alikuwa shamaliza KMC so eh. met Eh yeye alikuwa mbele ya Tanzania. Yeye alikuwa first year, nikiingia first year yeye alikuwa third year. So yeye alikuwa anaenda kumaliza. Okay. Eh hey, ni ile mafresha. Third years <laughs> walikuwa wanaongojea mafresha wakiingia unachagua wako. Yeah. Sasa Abeli alipata wake. <laughs> Ehe. Eh hey, so um nimepata ball ni April ilikuwa nilijua sasa over the April holidays. Yes. So nimepata mimba eh, nimeambia Abel Abel was like whatever you want to do yes mimi niko na wewe unataka okay. kufanya nini yeah but then like what do you was after crying the whole day so yeah. sasa eh, what do you want you okay sasa tuongee sasa yes yeah, what do you want to do mm-hmm. of course i didn't know yeah and i would be lying to you, you know <laughs> Tunajifanya watu wanajifanya ngao wazuri. At 22 you have many th- ah. many thoughts cross your mind. My And one of those thoughts ni hey, na kakwa tu ha, sitakubali. Hey. Ikakwa tu sitakubali ikwe tu nimaliza ni tu na hii story mapema mimi hey. nimeenda na life yangu. Yes. Cuz no, those are thoughts that those cross your you, mind. For sure. If we want to be honest. Hey. Yes. So of course that one of, that was one of the thoughts. Yes. Kitu ya pili nilikwenda nisumbua ni mama yangu. Yes. Cuz we uh, dad passed away when i was in class 6 yeah yeah so it has it had just been us and our mom and yeah. we four in our family yes. like three three girls and one boy okay so being the second born yes na mama mist umeona vile mama mist struggle mimi through actually through high school uh high school yote nilikuwa nasoma na basari kuna chanzo ya basari eh najua basari hey eh mimi ni kwa mimi nilisoma na basari kwa sababu you are bright students yeah, so bright students walikuwa student student wanakuwa sponsored eh exactly. performing well in school so nilikuwa nasoma nilikuwa nasoma na basari then yes. it was KMC ni college mm-hmm. at least ilikuwa serikali it wasn't very bad iko tu but kwetu kwa familia yetu hiyo yeah. 60000 tunalipa pa year cuz ni wa ping 60000 yeah. pa year in in KMC. Yo sisi kwetu ilikuwa ni kama mama ameambiwa analipa 1 million per time. I know. A lot of money yes. for family. Mm-hmm. So the second thing he ilikwenda ni ni hiyo time ni I am such a disappointment to, to your my mom. Mother. She has worked so hard. I can imagine. So hard to get me to this point. And yeah. I love this is how I pay her. Cuz for, for me in my head I was like imagine yani bila kurudisha nyumbani degree umepeleka mtoto. Ezi una, unapelekea mamako mtoto. Sasa hiyo hata amko financially stable. Yeah, Ezi na bado ana struggle niko na other siblings wako shule. I so there imagine. was that so there was a lot going on in my head. Yeah. But I can tell you my saving grace. Yeah. Aki in the one thing in the one the one thing that made it okay and possible cause mama okay tunaweza pata mtoto na kitu ni habari yeah cause he was there from day one 
Alina, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, with you. Mm-hmm. But just actually alisa maevo akasema but nataka tu kukwambia ukweli. Mimi yes. niko sawa. Okay. Mimi I am I'm good. I'm ready. I can be I am ready to be a father. I, I can do this. I can yeah. support you. Hauna sidani kuna kitu uta una need worry about because yeah. then was in Tahiti anafanya kazi nini. Eh. Yeah. Eh yeah, na after sasa kulia na jioni kuongea tukasema okay. We are we are let's just go okay. ahead with this. Sisi ni wazazi sasa. Kwanza eh. kujipanga. Yeah. Bila mtoto akakuja eh. kile nini nini. Sijamaliza shule KMC. Yes. I mean my final. Na ujue KMC ukipata ball ulikuwa unaambiwa uende nyumbani ukale. Exactly. But for some reason eh. si kwa hii. Walijua. Eh, hey, like uh-huh. utaficha mimba. Wezi. Wezi ficha mimba. Wezi. <laughs> mimba lazima itajulikana hey. wezi ficha mimba. But for some reason, cuz I was also a very good student okay. in college, yeah. like performing well. Hey. So si kwa hii like I think for the lecturers and everybody else even the dean, Madam yeah. Sita. Plus again they knew the father. Yes. So they were a bit lenient. Yeah. Ilikuwa tu ni sawa. But they imagine si kwa ifukuzwa shule. Yeah. They allowed me to stay. Hey. Na nilinganga as in nilifanya nilisoma until the care mwisho because yeah. i gave birth in january of 2010 mm-hmm. almost so nilisoma until december like yeah. until vile wanafunga nini because now come january the first quarter yes. it was meant to be the last term ah wow. yeah project na mfanyio okay. final exam alafu so it was a bit easy exactly so so niki tukiingia january yeah. sasa tunaenda kumaliza shule yeah. by march april tumemaliza sasa done like yes. kmc done mwende mkatafute kazi yeah so i was also a bit lucky okay yeah for extent. sure because it was towards the end exactly yeah uh-huh. but unaona mtoto amekuja january 5th kweli na the same week i think the following week tuko tunafungua shule eh. but imagine i think i think it was there was just fever. But how was the pregnancy journey though because now you are still in school you're going for classes. So the one thing is I nilikuwa nilika shule mimi by the way. Like okay. nilikuwa kwa hostel, kwa hostel nini mm-hmm. nini. But sasa nilikuwa na ilif, ikiendelea kufika nini za mwisho mm-hmm. ninge nilikuwa naenda kwa, kwa Abel. Wote uh-huh. mwanaka pangani. Wanaishi na Philip. Yes. <laughs> kwa one bedroom uh-huh. it was a one Hi. bedroom so mlikuwa mnapiga philip excel kwa kwa city Sasa, room by the way tulimnunulia mapofu kuna jozi na mapofu kwa eh, mapofu yes za kunulia kup... mapofu jana you team no, who has the money nobody no has, has they're, the they're money. interhidi they are making a bit more of money but it's not much it's not that they much can yeah you, like these things yes so tulibaya philip mapofu tulikuwa mm-hmm. tunamtengenezea na lala hapo sitting room kwa yes. hizo mapofu <laughs> sisi tuna tuna lala bedroom yeah yes So towards the end so the pregnancy was very okay. Okay. Like, I was okay. Like, ah. Hey, Abel was just the perfect. Ana shughulikia cravings. Ni kumbuka time ya eh, cravings zilikuwa kuku ya Eish. millennium na na chipo za millennium. Hey, at least as you expense in sana. Eh lakini kuku ya millennium. Eh ilikuwa ya kitambo eh. Yes. Hapo. So akitoka job ni mwanamwambia please eh. So of course kila siku kuzo nani alikuwa na pesa za kuvuru kila siku. kidogo. <laughs> eh but mm. everyone tena alikuwa na juu kuku specific yao hiyo unaitaka. Hiyo ndio ndio kwa nataka. Eh. But the pregnancy was very smooth because okay. I didn't have any complications what not nini. Yeah. I will see. Those are the benefits of having your baby. Ali. Ali. Some of the benefits. Yes. Of having as in getting pregnant when you're still very young. Yeah very smooth nothing as in nataka kukuwa mm. any complications nothing 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 yeah. so tulikuwa tu sawa until sasa the very end i, I think from october hapo ndo nilianza kwenda so niko na bado hostel mm-hmm. but jioni na narudi pangani kwa pangani yeah. Yeah. so na commute nini nini narudi yeah. pangani until sasa um, december mm-hmm. no come december ndio vile shule zilifungwa november which yeah. is kmc tuko tunafunga ni kama public kama high school kama, kama high school <laughs> eh kama primary zani kama ni terms exactly. ila uwezi ita semester yeah so vile tulifunga november so hapo ndio nilihama sasa officially oh, okay. nikaenda pangani juu sasa from there ni kwa najua by the time tunarudi tena january toy atakuwa amekaa na sasa singekaa na mtoto kwa hostel, hostel. Mm-hmm. yeah but the pregnancy was good until the very end of course alikuja to struggle za pesa hapa mm. na pale cuz i am not working i think it's just a very young man who's trying yeah. to make ends meet ni eh. yeah but <sighs> niki kaivi beti nasemanga having stuff 
at that particular time, yeah. like getting pregnant at that particular time is one of the best, best decisions I've ever looking made back now. in my entire life. But looking back now, because at that particular it <laughs> was time, not. Oh my God, I'm such a failure. Yeah. In this life, what have I done? Yeah. Like in Nini. Mm. Eh, watu na nitegemea, niende college, nisaidia mamangu, sasa hii nini nafanya. Yeah. But like right now, like na muangalianga, nishindi watu wanasama ni kama sister. Kasista yako, sindio. Yeah, now she's taller than me, she's, like na feel ni kama ni manza kumaliza kulea. So Ukiwa sasa, bado mdogo. Whatever years I lost. You can, you can do them now when you're financially stable. Exactly. You have the money. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, ukweli ni kwambia, uli niuleza, uli sema, is it something that I can advise yes. other young girls to do? Yes. I can't, I, I can't tell you, ati, pata mimba, ukiwa miaka 22. But, uka kuwa na mtu stable, na mefika mahali unafeel ni kama... Uh, Tuko like mahali. Kwa ni mtu mzuri. Yes. Maybe nini. Hey, Sometimes they say. Shangamka. I think, yeah. Kupata mtu yu kiwa. Meang. Kitu poa. Kwa sasa. Eh. Then you get to enjoy your adult life. Vizuri. When you're also still young. Hey. You know. Sasa imagine say I'm turning I'm turning 35. Yes. This year. Mm-hmm. Mtoto ndu yako miaka kumi na mbili. Yes. Like very soon anenda. Next year. Anafanya class 8. Then 2020. For she's in form, form one. Form one, yeah. So and in the form one, Mimi Nikiwa thirty. Thirty? Thirty seven. Like still very young. <laughs> Afum, and yeah, Uta wa yam biawa to was his sister ya coxem o queen. You know how she's she's going to be a bit taller, like yeah, you know, sure. jeans as I be a babake. Mm. So yeah, takwam refu. Yeah. Yeah. So now I get to enjoy my life. Sissy pity as we can do it. Aki. Atuwezi ngojile siku tunambeleka for mwa ni vii. Tusiki. Na niliona ulisema wewe kuongeza kengine. Mambo yako ulisha Aki. maliza. Huko tulifunga beti. Eh? Mia, um, sisi tuko tusawa na mtoto. Ivo, eh, ndo niliona ulisema hivyo. Aki, kena, wacha ni wa address. Naeza wa address. Wa address, wa ambi. Those stupid questions that you people keep asking. Mm-hmm. Huko kwa dia. Matu ongeza mwingine, unaposi kitu ya mumbuzu. Oh, sasa. Uta ongeza lini? Please. Those are stupid questions. I have never used that Thank word you. anywhere to tell anybody. But that's a stupid question. Don't ask those questions. Yeah. Uh, you never know the reasons behind why Very you true. Not I know. Child. Yeah. Please don't ask those questions. They are stupid questions. Ah, yeah, you guys have... Just cut it. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. It's not that we can't have another baby. It's yes. a personal decision, which we are very okay, okay with. Because we have one child na yo moja metutosha. Yeah. yeah. So, hizo maswali by this na boingi sana. Yeah. Na watu wanapenda position. Watcha tu watu wa mind biashara yeah. zao. It's important. Yes. Yes. Eh, and you know, I remember you guys when you guys went live. Ile, how I met your mother. You guys, Mkuru mentioned that akwa na pesa ya maternity when you you were you were you were in labor. Eh, sister Abel, uh, Grace. Yes. Yeah, to party pesa ya maternity. Eh. But you see now, these are things I never knew. Yeah, eh. Aku kuonyesha. Meli kwa na kuonyesha life iko poa like I got you. Iko fiti. Like we have whatever you need, you you will get it. And yeah. that is exactly how I have felt. My entire life, yeah, entire life, yeah. Is in our entire married life, yeah. Yes. And there's a point now it got to where you were supporting now him yes. because he didn't have anything. Exactly. But so I'm going to support from day one. Where is it? From day one. Now the way I'm going to do it. Now the way I'm going to do it. So when it was my turn, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Yeah. It's not a favor. It's not. No, it. I did my part. He had done his part for a long time. It was now my turn to do it. Yeah, to do, uh, my part. Yes. And you see, it's it's a cycle. Like marriage in a kwanga evil. Sometimes we are coevy. Sometimes we are coevy. Sometimes we are coevy. Sometimes eh. Hey, like sasa yeah yeah. Sasa na feel. Sasa sa easy yeah yeah ndio. Kila kitu. Yeah ndio. Yeah, Endo ana shugulika. Sasa you can sit back and relax <laughs> without any worries. Relax without feeling like hey if I'm I don't want. Then you're not gonna get this. If yeah. I don't work, then you're not gonna get this. Yeah. yeah. So it's just seasons. There are different seasons in in, in life, basically for everybody and yeah. in marriage especially. And niku supporti anatu. Yeah. Let's talk about marriage, Judy. You know, Mkuru sat on the same spot <laughs> where you are. Yeah. Nika mwambia, Mkuru, your marriage looks perfect. You know. <laughs> Nika mwambia, mimi naonanga kwa comment section. Unambia watu. 
You look beautiful, my love. Sijui, <laughs> thank you, darling. Yes. Thank you, sweetheart. Niko, Judy anaona hizi vitu. Of course, anaona. <laughs> Na ingekuwa, she's not comfortable. As ingekuwa, zinaandikuwa. How are you comfortable with those things? Because he told me the level of trust in your marriage mm -hmm. is something else. But do you know, Betty, how you get to that level of trust? Tell me. Is when you are also... I'm looking for the right word. So it starts with me. Like, okay. in Anzangana, Mimi as an individual. Okay. Like, it starts with you as an individual. Okay. See, see, at in the in Anzangana, Mimi. Like, how, like, how self aware are you? Okay. Am I of myself? Like okay. I am, like, are you self aware? Like, Una jijua wewe, like, Una, uh -huh. una need kujijua kwanza. Okay. Because Niki jijua. Then na, na jua Judy ni nani? How does Judy behave? How does what is what is how is Judy? What is her character? How is she? <laughs> By the time sasa na fungu arohoyangu ku understand where is my husband? Okay. Already nisha like kuna vitu. Wewe umejichambua yeah, unajijua kabisa. Because you see, lazima to like I said kwa ile relationship ya artist na manager. Yes. Just like your relationship ya artist na manager the level of trust needs to be very mm -hmm. high. It's the same thing in marriage. Because we are two very different human beings. Yeah. Two very different human mm. beings. Imagine, kama unakosananga na sister ako. Blood. Blood sister. Ni no. mtuwa mjazaliwa pamoja. Mwa, your father. Like, muna, muna kosananga, unakosana na family yako. Damu. What about this random stranger? You've you met 20 speak? years later. Uko, after you're no grown. Kasema, exactly. No kasema, who you? Dio mse wangu. Yeah. But in a Samanga too, it's Lazima Yanza na wewe. I think Lazima Yanza na Nini as individuals, Lazima Mukwim, who quote me Jua. Then, because me, I know myself, like I know, like Najua na Nam Jua. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but what yeah. I'm trying to say is uh, you need to understand yourself at a very high level. Deep, deep level. Yeah. For you to. Accommodate other things, exactly. accommodate other people and their exactly. behaviors. And in this case now, your husband. My husband. Yes. Because yeah. he would do you go. Like him is a people's person. Yeah. Like that is how he expresses his love for his followers and his whatnot. fans. Yes. Sasa kuja hapo nianze kuzusha Please. That is, he your character yake. Yeah. And then once you understand somebody and their character, it's very easy to live with. Yes. It's easy to live with people. Yeah. So, Mkuru ni uyo. Mkuru is a people's person. Kabisa, kabisa. Yeah. Na, yeye anapenda. Like, yeye anafunguanga. Yeye roho yake inakuanga open. Yes. Eh, yeye ni mtu watu, yeye anapenda watu. Ni mtu wako express love. Like, exactly. his love language is words of yeah. affirmation. And so, that's, that's, that's who he is. Yeah. Yeah. So, nika kosa ku accept hiyo kama bibi yake. Even though it's not like nonsense, let me call it nonsense. Yeah. Ya kujaribu 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 mtu. You can't change a grown-up human being, an adult. You can't. Yeah. Who is he badilisha mtu? Who is he? Eh, hey, the person he is, hizo ni vitu zime instiliwa kwake for his 30, how many years? 35 years of existence. Sasa alafu wanze so, wewe kumchange. So how am I going, Mimi, mwenye tumekuwa na yeye for... Oh, it's not 14 years. Hey, that's so, a lot. Hey. Yeah, like when you change, you can't change an adult. Yeah. The best thing is when you truly understand who you are and then you open your heart to try and understand your partner. Yes. Then, in a kwaraisi, I feel like even though sisi is a bond yet. Yeah. Hey. Hey, I feel like I'm in the class. Ni siju kama mna feel hivyo. Na feel ni kama, eh, naandika notes kwa kili. You know, it's it's like there's a situation whereby some lady was dating a DJ. And then, she was probably mad, the fact that the DJ is saying hi to people instead of them going home. I'm like, how do you expect the fans to come to his gig the next time if he doesn't say hi to his fans? Then don't date a DJ. Hey. You don't understand his world. Exactly. Until you understand the Niyaki and the Unaizaishi Vizuri and Amtu. Because you are two strangers who decide to come together and make a life out of this union. Yes. 
you know he actually mentioned mm -hmm. judy aezi expect mimi ni mu entertain my whole life hey, aj that is very unfair like that would be very like hmm. ima, sasa imagine so nafanya nga hivi every eh. time okay so this is something i do yeah <laughs> eh. so every time so for example eh. ame kasirisha okay. kuna kitu wafanya mini bo eh. the first thing i do nanzanga kujieka in his na, na reverse your situation okay nafikiria unajiweka in his shoes eh. Ebu ebu fikiria kama ingekuwa ni wewe umefanywa hivi yeah. ama ingekuwa ni wewe umefanywa hivyo reaction yako ingekuwa ni eh. and i tell you but every time you do that by the nini yako you feel like kuna kitu tu ita reaction yenye ungekuja nayo like sasa ameni bow ni kwe it's different yes inakuanga very different cuz ukianza kukubali kuelewa mtu kuelewa kwa nini mtu wako hivi yeah. na kwa nini you behave hivi na kwa nini actions zake zinakuanga hivi kwa nini character yake iko hivi okay inakuwa ina easy yeah, alafu ina pia easy, yeah. sometimes you might put yourself in their situation uone yenyewe hapo ningekasirika yes. but then again how would you want to be addressed that actually now it comes down to that one. yes yes so okay So ningekasirika vile tu ame okay so ni sawa tu kukasirika eh, but ningetaka aniongeleshe aje eh, that particular eh, juu nimemkosea eh, ningetaka ni address aje eh, and that's how you go about it if you want to be shouted at then you go ahead and shout at him you know sasa hapo ndio nini guy because mimi mimi when i'm angry yeah. I, i i go quiet yeah. like, i don't i don't know how to shout yeah. me i don't shout i can't break thing. i can't i don't know how to react when yeah. i'm angry my eh, reaction is just like nazimanga sio ana mtu mwenye ni kama ana deflatiwa <laughs> kabisa mimi mimi na nyama zanga so yeye yeah, yeah, asha ku yeah like mshajuana like mmekaa mmejuana tu vile huyu anakuanga hivyo sha master tu huyu yeah. leo akiamka asubuhi kama hataki kuongea unamwacha tu space yake kidogo exactly. tutaongea tu labda tu, after some time yes eh yeah. yeah, but basically hiyo ndio tufikia hapo ati anaweza ya ita uh, like mudoni you know yes. noni eh noni is our manager yes <laughs> eh noni they address each other na abe yeah. that's how they call each other yes hata waka kwa ina crowd of people yes. that is how they address each other yeah. so na kumuka once kuna mtu alisikia <gasps> eh kwa nini unakubali bwana wanaita na hivyo me i'm like my friend <laughs> it's like lulu hasan and rashid mm -hmm. the producer monica kiragu mm -hmm. They call her babe both of them. Hadi are? happy birthday memwish pale Instagram. Happy yeah. birthday babe. Yes. Comment section. Lulu Hassan umeona hii? Nini? Mm. But it's only when you're so secure in the person you are. Yes. That you're able to accommodate such accommodate things. Such things. Yeah. Yes. So sometimes it says a lot about us. It's not even about the person mm -hmm. who is doing that. It's about you. Yeah. Eh, cuz me and ndashanga <laughs> Okay, understand too much your character okay, then. Mm. Yeah. What is that one thing you're most grateful about Mkuru? Hey. I can see. Yeah. Hiyo yenye umefikiria hiyo. Hiyo yenye hiyo yenye umecheka hiyo. Ya Mkuru nasema his and we very love and support. Oh, that is like unconditional. Like yes, like hata ikakuwa nini ama ushai unajua life yangu mimi nikwambie ni hata kitu gani ka happen kwa hii life. Yeah. Whatever I don't know what kitu yote ka happen. Yeah. There is one person I know yeah. has my back. Is him. It is him. Like I know hey. him, like beyond any yeah. reasonable doubt. And that is really good to know you can actually just count on someone. Like for you know? Him, you know, yani acha kitu gani ka happen kwa hii dunia. Eh. Hey. Is the one person that I can count. Is the one person I know will always be there. Yeah. 
let's talk about now mumbus and you know the rules and regulations you guys have set in the house yes. especially when it comes mm -hmm. to phones you know mm -hmm. how do you guys come up with such things because you know we've seen there are people who choose to give their kids access to internet and especially the fact that mumbus is quite older right now you know yeah. Naona mlimpea simu but before that akukua na simu na bado simu hii ilipeanwa na rules <laughs> niko gai mumbus tulikwambia upea simu lakini rules <laughs> <laughs> conditions how, yeah, yeah how do you guys now get to decide like these are the rules and regulations we want to set for mumbus so for a while mm -hmm. and i can say up until very early this year Sisi, we were pro, we were against, not pro, we were very against her and gadgets and the internet. Yeah. Like we were like, no, until you're 18, mm -hmm. then you can have a phone. Yeah. Yeah. So we have gadgets in, in our house. Mm -hmm. Like me, I have a laptop, I have a laptop. Mm -hmm. So she was allowed to use his or gadget, mm -hmm. but he let him do homework. Nani, nani. So we were very much, very much against her using gadgets and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Until by the way, actually, Nani, to look on Nani in your conversation, there's somebody we had that conversation with. I can't remember, but you, you guys, don't you think you uh doing an injustice to Mumbus mm -hmm. by not letting her access the internet and have a gadget? Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> Kwani sisi tulilelewa nayo. Eh. Akasema have you realized that Mumbus is growing up in an era of the internet yes. and technology. Mm -hmm. And that's her future. Yeah. Like, that's her future. Mm -hmm. Like future yake ni hiyo ni technology. Yes. The future for everybody for all of us is technology. It's technology. Yeah. So ukimnyima access, don't you think kuna vile unamvuta nyuma? Mm. Okay. You're making sense. Yeah. Like that one statement by then Which is so true. Because yeah. we are here as as parents. Yeah. Say so some of us are making money from e, the Technically internet. your phone. Exactly. Like no office, yes, no nothing. Na, na internet in Yes. So I am it is actually being very counterproductive when you yeah. don't allow them to have access to the internet. Of course, then, you know, regulated access. Right. Yeah. But then, exactly, then we come now to that. But how do we regulate okay. these two things? Yes. Like, to na, to ta regulate a jay, ile kitu wana consume on the internet. Mm -hmm. To ta regulate a jay, ile time wana spend on this particular gadget. Mm -hmm. So that's how we came up with these rules. Yeah. <laughs> Nana simple rules, by the way. Eh, it's yeah. not anything new. It's, it's, uh, Kawaida too. Most parents are practicing out there. It's yes. not anything new. Yeah. Ni kusema, gadgets ikuna time yaki. Mm -hmm. Kuna time ya ku kuna time ya kutumia gadget ukifanya assignments then kuna time ya kutumia gadget for entertainment yes. a bit of entertainment mm -hmm. but then kuna time yako ya kutoka nje na yes. kucheza huko nje physically because it's also important eh hey, well, yes. that is very important yes. kazi si kushinda tu kwa kiti ume mm -hmm. umekelea miguu hivi una watch youtube yes because for them youtube is such is a everything thing. Yeah. yeah actually yeah. for her ni realize your generation like at a netflix mm -mm. eh yeah. awataki oh, youtube, YouTube. cuz youtube you get to learn the because hapo unaweza unaweza jifundisha na at the same time una learn yes. to mingi sana eh. trends both good and bad yeah for sure yeah, yeah so ni kujaribu tu kuregulate hiyo the time spent on the gadget yeah. and whatever uh, nini she's consuming on or the whatever, time, whatever content, content yes she's consuming. But yeah, nah, mm -hmm. there are so many controls, like parental controls YouTube right for now. kids, yeah. yeah. There are so many, actually. Kama ye ha, meningi, sasa shironi has access to YouTube for kids. Ah. Ah, ah, shukuru mumbu, suki watchi, I appreciate, eh? Yeah. Unakumbuka kuna wakati yo simu wa iku kuwa? <laughs> appreciate. Actually, it's, not a, it's not a phone, it's, it's a, a tablet. tablet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Aha. Yeah. And, and how is it bringing up a girl child? Especially in this era of now social media, the era of, you know, work generation. Yes. How is it? It is not easy. Basically. Yeah. Because sometimes, I feel like she knows a lot. She does. Sometimes I feel like she knows vitu za nyemisi jui. Yeah. Like, sa zingina neza niambia kitu ni shina. Ule juwaje yo. Like, something that's trending right now on the internet, nini, and I know for sure it's not in our house. Yes. 
because kuna control as in that we have some measures that we've put in place we know for sure it is Easy not here mm -hmm. but you see shule is another thing yeah been shule she kids to interact with kids from different you know. yeah kids who, when you wanna watch the same show na watch netflix okay mumbo are kona nini yake ya netflix for kids. like she can like she knows she cannot watch anything that's above her age yes but atakuja niambie juu ya kitu nimeiona kwa sababu yetu ya nini but it's my friend who was who told me they were watching that with the parents yeah so there's nothing you can do about that it's yeah, beyond your control that's beyond my control so ni mimi tu kuhakikisha that whatever because this is what uh, what i was saying when i said motherhood and parenting is all about god you whatever you can do and then and god yeah kwa sababu sasa mimi tu ni ku hope that whatever i have instilled in her yes that like she's able to you know to live by it exactly at like subjected in yeah. other places then when there's peer pressure and what not she's able to make her own this uh, sober decisions, decisions. Exactly. yeah sasa hapo ndio unasema anga mimi nimefanya nyumba to god hapo mm. <laughs> it's beyond my control yeah, yeah. So rules are very important mm -hmm. for children and especially like for any kid let us girl child for any total, child, for child for sure. water, like kids need they only operate uh as in a kid can't operate without rules yes so sometimes we learn as kids as easy what you know at easy my rules to make a mingi they don't know they, don't. they are learning from us for sure so how do they learn from us if you are not the ones telling them this is this yes. and this and this and this yes this yes. and this no yeah yeah but also kids learn mostly yeah through observation they do they do especially sasa kianza kufika hii age kitu yote yenye anaona ndio anataka kujanga na kuambia but mama uliniambia hivyo na wewe ukufanya hivyo yeah you should set the example exactly. you lead by example yeah. yeah if you make a promise you break it then she knows promises are there to be broken like there's something we do in our house which is umeona watu like our friends who come over they don't understand yeah like if mumbus is tuko na yeye hapo kwa sitting room unacho uh -huh. position ati tukiongea na tuna nini kila saa zingine kila mtu akona akona mambo zake entertainment eh eh sisi missy is watch anything on tv is mumbu if mumbus is, is there is there yes like on netflix like any of my shows i can't watch them when she's there yes hata akakuatia kona ya phones na watch vitu zake kwa nini i can't yes cuz hivyo tu ndio kuko tutakulea mtoto wangu cuz yeah. i'm setting an example yeah. i can't be telling her you can't watch this show and you're watching when nah, she's there. Na sasa kwa hapo mimi ndo na watch the same show. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. So they learn through observation mostly. They do. And rules are a must. Ah, yeah. Yeah, mimi niambia ati hakuna rules kwa nyumba. Rules <laughs> lazima. Aje. Eh, aje. How? Eh? eh? Lazima. <laughs> Enyewe, it makes a lot of sense. And again, it's, it's okay to make mistakes because we learn from those mistakes. No one and again there's no manual. There's no manual. Ni kuangalia tu naona, ukianalyze unaona no. I feel this is kama mlimnyima simu then mkaongelesha mkaona. Oh, by the way. Tunaweza au tablet ni sawa. Tunaweza eh. we have our parental controls. Yeah. We, we know we can regulate it to some extent. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm kimalizia judi nilikuwa ninataka kujua the relationship ya team na mkuru how is their relationship like how is their friendship like ah let me just say it again because I, i think i mentioned it at yeah. some point it's, that is a father son relationship oh yeah yeah you mentioned that's a father son relationship yeah yeah we see na feeling i feel like that's how if i was to define it that's yes. how I, i would define it yeah. like it's and it's, it's that self explanatory yeah. for sure yeah. uh, cuz you you ask your your father for advice you tell them when you're feeling low <laughs> eh mtu akikuchokoza yeah. unaona unamwambia kwa kwa social media wanajifanyanga vile at ya wapendani we all know they are like very close friends yeah, yeah. yeah. that's beautiful mm -hmm. Judy, you know just quiz you kona my fans. Yeah. Waambie kitu. Sana. Waambie kitu. <laughs> tell them something. Guy, all I would want to tell them yeah. is uh, thank you for following me. Thank mm -hmm. you for the support. Thank you for um, uh loving my content, whatever it is that I post on my pages. Mm -hmm. I promise to keep people to keep it authentic. Mm -hmm. And to always do what 
Yeah, I think Leo, Leo is authentic. What are you your point? I promise to always keep it authentic. Because yes. I think that's where... Yeah. yeah. Nothing fake. Me, it's just how it comes. Yeah. For Being me, you. Me, 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 the content that I... Any nafanyanga ni feel <gasps> like if I put out that content, I feel so good. Yes. Any conversation to do with uh, Mumbos. Yeah. Uh, how she's growing up. Yes. Yeah. Because in Mavile, it's, it's an area that most parents, uh, it's, it's not a conversation, conversations that we are having with yes. our kids and especially on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. So if I, Mumbos and I are meant to fill that gap. Then why not? Then why not? And and your conversations are so so informing. Like it's it's really beautiful. I remember the first time I watched um, the first conversation you guys mm. guys had the mother daughter conversation. Mm. Oh, I sent it to my sister. I'm like, oh, because I have nef I have nieces. Yes. You know, like yeah. te- well, one is in form one. Who's in a teenager? Ni come to me, buangalia a link. Look at this content and see. You know, this is something they can consume. I sent her faster, faster. Akayangalia, and I'm sure they watch the content. Any content to I have to remind her. Nam to me, and I'm to me. Yeah. Did you expect that reaction from people that you no. got? Actually, let me tell you. Honestly, eh. I did not. Because eh. I. I well, in my head, mm-hmm. I imagine we are very woke parents. Okay. You know, like, uh-huh. it, 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 the same age na, na mtoto wangu. Mm-hmm. It's because you're a woke pe, pa, parent uh-huh. that you're living in this era of social media and whatnot. So we know we have to be woke. Like, lazima to ungelesha wa tutu yetu juye hizi na hizi na hizi. You were shocked. I was actually very shocked because the, I think the feedback I got, like, 70% of the feedback I yeah. got was mimi yi conversation. Siku anajua nitanzia wapi na mtoto wangu. Aki. Like Asanti. At least now I know where to start. Yes. Yeah. So I thought, actually, honestly, I thought, is in if it watu anaungele. Na kawaida tu. Because mimi tulianza hizi conversations na mumbus when she was like 8 years old. Yeah. Like whenever we were alone in the car, we would... Talk. Yeah, like to nenda mahali nini nini, like we would just talk about these things. Yeah. And then you see, they start um, being curious at a very young age. Mm-hmm. So we both had gotten to a point where she, if she comes into my bedroom and there's a tampon, there's a what? She, she asks, what is this? Shanga. Yeah, because I and I say, mommy, you're a girl like me. Yes. But I'm not using this. So what? What are these things? Yes. Na wazazi wengine wachana na hiyo epurudisha ama ni kuchape I know that is what we used to be told actually I know you ca- in this era my friend you cannot tell your you child can't. to mkate yeah unless ni mtoto wa miaka 4 eh you can laugh mkate tena upate akikula sasa hizo ni mambo gani there are ways to communicate for yes, sure other than lies there are places for them to get this information if oh. you don't tell them yes they will get the information from the internet for sure believe me it's mm. from their peers and from the internet yes. they will get the information there yeah. and you see there's not that information is not necessarily the right information or the yeah. correct information mm. so they need to hear it from us as our par- as, as the parents yeah. among give anything to do with um Whatever is in, anything she's experiencing now as she's growing mm-hmm. up, she needs to to know those things from me first. Yeah. Before I end up a ski story now what to conge. Yes. Then the juice we wanna mumbia mumbus. We need to have the sex talk like a proper, you know. Like yes. Come and ask me. We have had the sex talk. Okay. Yeah, cause my friend, if you start your periods, you cannot get pregnant. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So that conversation had to happen. Yes. Na bila tumeongea, but sasa ni kwa nambia because now she's growing up ni 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 discover stories a guy na wanting hard as in because I want her to go see a guy na ni ni. So she needs to understand what exactly is happening, exactly. you know? Wewe guy na kienda niambie nifanye hivi na hivi na hivi ni anaangalia. She needs to understand. She does. Yeah. Yeah. She does. Hey, Judy, I feel like I was in a master class for so many things about life. It was very insightful. Asante. Guys, me, naona mume, mume enjoy. Si me, me learn kama vile na feel ni kama nimetoka class. Abu, let me know, let me know, let me know. Thank you so much, Judy. Thank you for having me. I know it has taken a lot for you to be here. But I'm here. But you're here. And I had to come. You when had to. Kithinji. Kithinji with a K. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You have to Thank you, Judy. Thank you. I truly appreciate. Thank you.
<laughs> All right, guys. That was Beam Kuru. It was a very insightful conversation right here on Buzz with Stars. I hope you have learned something. If you have, please say it down below on the comment section. And in case you didn't subscribe as we were starting this conversation, please make sure you subscribe. Subscribed? All right. Thank you so much. My name is Miss Kithinji, and until next time, keep it SPM Buzz. SPM Buzz.